So in machine two, using your computer keyboard, this is how you stop and play the session by pressing the space bar. You can also arm machine to record by pressing shift and spacebar. You can also set machine so that um, you can have a count in for when you want to record by pressing and holding command and shift together and spacebar. You can also toggle the metronome on and off by pressing M. If I just mute those two there. You can also play from where the start marker is by pressing Alt and Spacebar. And if I just show you, if I just move the start, start bar to say here, or even here, and do the same, Alt and Spacebar. Right, so I'm just gonna jump through to some uh, navigation shortcuts so if you want to cycle through the tools as long as you're in the editor window and press E you will cycle between a pencil and an eraser if you're in the arrange window then you will cycle between Pad, keyboard, and sampler. So those are some good shortcuts to have. So if I'm in the editor, I can just go to and from. I'll get out of the way. I can uh, go between uh, the pencil and the eraser, and if I click in the arrange window, I can go between uh, pad, keyboard, and sampler. If you want to select multiple groups, I'll just bring this down. You want to select multiple groups, select one group, hold shift, and press the up and down arrows to select and deselect. You can also hold command and A, toggle in between those two. And the same applies for your uh, slots as well same thing now for editing you can turn the grid resolution on and off by pressing 0 you can also toggle through the different types of resolution grid resolution by pressing buttons 1 to 9 on your keyboard and if you want to get triplets, hold shift and press numbers one to seven. Release shift to bring it back to normal. One bar, half a bar, quarter, eighth, sixteenth. You can also select a note and copy it to a new location by hitting command C. Command V to paste it. And as you can see, it's clicking to the grid. You can have it slip where it doesn't click or snap to the grid by holding Command or obviously pressing zero without holding Command. So there you have it's pretty freehand there without holding the Command key. And then turn the grid back on and you can see it, it can snap or it does snap um, to the grid and obviously this determines what resolution you have so this is one two eight 
and you can see it's still snapping to the grid but ever so slightly you can delete notes by pressing the backspace you can nudge events by holding alt and pressing the left and right arrow on your computer keyboard you can quantize events by pressing alt and q and obviously this quantize to the resolution you're set at you can also quantize at 50% by pressing shift alt and q So if you saw there, the event just moved slightly because I quantized it by 50%. You can also zoom in and out of the pattern editor by holding the command button and moving the up and down arrows on your computer keyboard. Same applies if you're in the arrange window. Just make sure you click in the window to select what you want to zoom in and out of. And you can also rename groups by pressing Alt and R. And the same applies to slots. You can go into full screen mode by pressing Command and F. And you can toggle to mix view by pressing tab. You can also toggle the browser by pressing function and F4. And you can hide and show the control lane, which shows you the velocity an automation lane by pressing function and F12. So that's basically it. Quick video showing you how to use machine without a controller, just using your computer keyboard. I didn't know this. Um, I do now and I use it all the time. Um, again, shout outs to Richard Sound Lab London on Facebook. Go check him out. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put all the links and what have you in the description. And if you feel that you uh, like this and you enjoy this tutorial, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.